Hello! Good day, everyone! Thank you so much for being on time. Shansi Kati just was late for a few minutes. Too soft! Can you hear me? No! Ah, why you cannot hear me, Kaya, no? Anyway... I can hear you. Too soft! I can hear you. Okay, I said you can sit beside me, ha, if you are cannot hear. Okay, so welcome to Testament Ministries Facebook Live for those who are watching us live and for those who are watching us replay. But if you want to join us here inside Zoom, please PM us. Okay, thank you everyone. Let's come and worship the Lord with this song, What a Beautiful Name. I hope this song ministered to all of us in preparing our hearts to worship the Lord. Okay, so let me share my screen. Okay, so let's sing this song, everyone. Or meditate on the song for those who are not familiar with the song. What? 
Mama, you're muted. Okay, let's inhale. Exhale. Amen. Okay, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Bless our kids, O oh Lord, has said, Hagios, Trisha, Marvin, Caleb, Lauren, and those who are not yet here, we pray that you will be in soon. And for those who are still um, wanting uh, some of you, inviting someone, let's continue to pray for them. Here, dear Lord, thank you so much for each and every one. And for those who are watching us live, we pray that you will uh, touch our hearts, prepare our hearts, as we want to study about your word in 1 John chapter 2, verse 18 to 27. Um, help us, Lord, that we can uh, be sensitive to what you want to teach us today. Uh, take away any thoughts, any distraction that will take away our focus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, has said for singing that song. It's really indeed encouraging when I see you engage and involved in worship. Okay, so our topic today is warning against denying Jesus Christ. Can you please read, Marvin? The Bible does not espouse reckless ex speculations marvin you unmute yourself but what it presents is a straightforward warning that there will come a time that antichrist will come um, marvin you need to unmute so you continue here in fact antichrist marami no with s are already present among us in the 2000 years since christ died Many have risen to oppose the gospel. It is no different now. So even other, they call themselves, what? Believers, they think they don't believe Jesus as Lord. They just think of him as moral teacher, as prophet. So that's still um, not biblical. Opposition to the Church of Christ can be found everywhere in varying degrees. It is thus important for church to heed this warning, lest we fall prey and be led astray. So dear children, can you please read 1 John chapter 2, verse 18 to 27, Hagios? Marvin, if I call you, you should unmute, huh? Dear children, this is the last hour, and as you have heard that the Antichrist is coming, even now many Antichrists have come. This is how we know it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they did not really belong to us, for they had belong or if they had belonged to us, they would have remained with us. But their going showed that none of them belonged to us. But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and all of you know. Okay, please continue. Verse 21. Agios, continue. I do not First, write to you because you do not know the truth, but because you do know it and because no lie comes from truth. <laughs> Who is the liar? It is whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ. Such a person is the Antichrist, denying the Father and the Son. No one who denies the Son has the Father. Whoever acknowledges the Son has the Father also. Okay, thank you. Up until the early part of chapter 2, John has shown us the moral and social tests that characterize the people who really possess genuine faith and are true believers. So true believers are those who believe that Jesus is the Christ, no? He's God. 
our Lord and Savior. In contrast, he has shown us what his opponents were. Those who are not, who are anti-Christ, they walk in darkness and they hate the brothers and love the world. By failing in this test, they have shown that they are not true believers. Okay. So, but now John makes the contrast very clear. Marvin, you have to look at the screen. He assesses the, these opponents by their doctrinal belief and test to determine if they already hold on to orthodox belief or heretical teachings. If there is any doubt in the mind of believers, as to why these things were happening, John made it clear to them that this is expected because they are in the last hour. Remember, in the last days, there are many false teachers, antichrist, who are preaching outside that are not biblical. So let's continue with our passage in verse 24, 26 to 27. Can you please read? Um, Caleb, as for you, see that what you have heard from the beginning remains in you. If it does, you will also remain in the Son and in the Father. That is what he promised us, eternal life. I am writing things to you about those who are trying to lead you straight. As for you, the anointing received from him remains in you, but you do not need anyone to teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about all things, and that just uh, and as that anointing is real, not counterfeit, just as it has taught you, remain in him. Okay. Thank you, Caleb. Has said, please use uh, your hand on your table. Next. So interestingly, the last hour appeared only twice in the Bible. It is only in this verse twice. But there is really not much difference in the meaning. So it should be taken as synonymous to last days or last times. The first coming of our Lord Jesus Christ ushered in the new age with the coming of God's kingdom all through its await yet its fullest expression. Since 2,000 years ago when Jesus came to the world, that's why we celebrate Christmas, where he came and he was delivered by virgin birth, by Mary, no, we can touch, we can hold him, that truly he is human, perfect man, and deity God. So uh, since then, it's already the last days, no, until today. So hopefully, um, let's not be complacent no let's continue to share the good news to other people because this is already the last hour we don't know jesus will come back like a thief of the night we are in the already but not yet state the time between jesus first coming and his second coming is called the last days so this is also the church age it was never god's intention Marvin, to involve ourselves in the fruitless speculation to which many have failed. Jesus said, nobody knows the time and the hour. If people will tell you, oh, Jesus will come back this year, this hour, they get, have a lot of prediction like, like that. We will not believe because we never know. It may not be just this year or next month it may be tonight so we should always be prepared that in everything we do if jesus come today what do he see us doing hopefully we are truly staying faithful no that we are always ready to meet our god
Amen. Can you say amen to that? Sometimes, no, we will, we will doubt. I always lang say God is coming soon. Wala pa naman siya si Kati. It's too long already. You always say God is coming soon. God is also patient. We pray that those who are still not yet believer will really not harden their heart and will come back, go back and get to know Jesus as his Lord and Savior. Let us not just watch other people read the books. Wow, they really love God, no? Wow, they experience God powerfully in their life. Miracle. You ask God, Lord, help me know you. Experience you in my life. I hope you will make that as your seeking as your desire because those who seek the Lord will surely find him. Do not push him away in your life and do not renounce him in your life because truly uh, I don't know what lies ahead when Jesus comes and that he finds you not believing in the Lord. So our topic this afternoon from the verses we just read remind us of some warnings of denying Christ in our life. Please read this, Denison. Hi, Denison. Kenji Chebar. Okay. Yes, please read, Denison. The biblical writers gave us some general clues as to what will happen to encourage us and inform us of coming events. Everything? Con Every day. Yes. The, the Bible is replete with descriptions of the situation that will characterize the last days or hour. There will be earthquakes in various places, wars and rumors of wars, famine, pestilence, bloodshed, etc. There will be false teachers. There will be antichrists. So we are in the last days. Yes. If you would see news or historical records of the number of earthquakes uh, five years ago or ten years ago with the current, you can see the intensity, no? Then every hour or sometimes every minute there is earthquake some not so strong and the calamities and the rumor of wars the tension is always there so let us pray that in these last days no truly let's be faithful let's hold on and let us not allow the enemy to influence our mind. Na, Ay, I just play, play, play lang and live life happy to the fullest without mindful of what I can do to honor and serve God. So I hope our life is not like that. Truly, there are many instances that will cause even Shensi Kati, I'm not immune to it. Sometimes I also feel discouraged that sometimes am I worthy to serve the Lord? Am I a good wife or a godly wife, a godly mom? Am I a good example for my students as I teach them? Sometimes there are lies of the enemy that will Make Shansi feel discouraged. So may God help each and every one of us to remain strong, steadfast, always on our knees no? to seek God. Because you know, without God, we will easily go astray. Because there's just so many influences that will grab our attention, distraction, yeah, like we can just watch Tagalog movies, Korean teledrama, teleserial that makes you desensitize of, of real life. Now you just want to just enjoy in a different world or fantasy. I hope life is more than that. There's what you call life after, after this life. They're what you call eternal life. So I hope you also contemplate, where am I going after this life? You know, yesterday we have our Chinese New Year like fellowship with fellow teachers in Wisdom Light Christian Academy. 
and one of our board member uh, asked that one asked the teachers do you how do you know or what i i uh, he asked this like how will you go to heaven oh may i ask you the same question um trisha can you unmute or anyone can answer kenji lauren do you know how to go to heaven because we keep on talking about um god is coming soon or like there will be false teachers how are you taught how did you understand how to go to heaven can anybody share or answer that question marvin or caleb chabar how do you go to heaven or why will i let you go to heaven if God may ask you when you die. Because we all die. We will someday leave this world. If you will be asked, why will I let you enter and have eternal life? Can I hear any brave soul? Because he loves us. You love us. God loves us. That's why he will let you go into heaven. Anybody else? Because of Jesus Christ, he died for our sins because he loves us. Because of his grace, we are saved. And to be saved, we have to have faith in him, to trust him, and to follow him be our Lord and Savior. Mm -mm. Amen. Uh, Lauren also typed her answer. You can sin a lot for you to be able to go to heaven. Um, some, uh, yeah, you cannot go to heaven because of sin. And do you know that all of us sin? So all of us cannot go to heaven because the only thing that is not welcome in heaven is sin. And from birth until now i don't know how old are you some of you 10 15 some of you 20 those years i believe you have disobeyed your parents maybe you have tell, told a lie so because of a lot of sin or even one sin one law that you disobey we are not we already fall short from god's standard that's why Thank you, Chebar, for your answer, Denison, that God loves us so much. John 3.16, what did it say? That for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, Donnelly, and your cousin, Bayan, and your friend. Thank you for joining. That he gave his one and only son, Jesus Christ, that because of his grace, we don't deserve to be saved. He died and shed his blood so our sins will be forgiven because he is the only atoning sacrifice that is worthy to take our place so that we can have forgiveness of our sin and then when we put our faith and trust in the lord jesus christ we will have eternal life that's why one statement says it all believe in the lord jesus christ and you will be s-a-v-e d believe in the lord jesus christ and you will be saved so the only way how can you go to heaven if you have that faith you shang sin believe no sin faith to believe in yeshu to believe in the lord jesus christ and you will be saved do not harden your heart jesus is knocking at the door of your heart please do not deny him okay because this our topic today are warnings of when we deny christ this is the series that we are studying right now in first john the book of first john then we continue to second john third john 
Okay. So, these are the essential for us to remember. Please read, Lore. Ano? Uh, no, your audio is not. Um, Donna Lee, please read. It is essential for us. It is essential for us to remember that the biblical writers also talk about the last days of the last days where the Antichrist or the man of lawlessness will appear. So things will get worse before it gets better. Therefore, we are in transition stage, so to speak, before the final judgment and the glorious appearing of our Lord and Savior, which will be the final last day. Last day, final last day, final last day. Yes. So, um, may we not give up. In the last days, now we are already in the last days, in the last days, in the last days. I hope we will not give up. There's just too many sometimes trials, no? Like you want this pandemic to end, but meron na naman new virant, another virant from Delta, Omicron, then there's another one coming. Not variant. Lord, when will this end? So, hello? Ver yes. Variant, not virant. Oh, oh, variant. Okay, thank you, Hagios. I don't know. That's how I say it. Uh, so parang, Sometimes we are wanting to, I, I will not believe in God na lang ha, because I keep on uh, praying, but God did not answer yet my prayer. Do you know there is a season in our life that talaga we are in the wilderness, no? Just like, you know, Joseph, di ba? The Lord revealed to him that someday he will rule his brothers and his, even his parents will bow down to him. But what happened to his life? Diba? He go through wilderness. He was sold. He was, ano pa? He was being uh, sold as slave. And as a slave, even though he's doing his best, he's honoring God. Even wala siyang mga Sunday school or youth fellowship. Wala siya. He cannot even hear like maybe Sunday message because when he was in Egypt, I don't know, he uh, don't have a fellowship or a church or a family, but he honors God. And then even when he honors God and there's another temptation, Potiphar's wife keep on bugging he, him, bothering him, tempting him, lie with me, always like showing herself so tempting to joseph but joseph still honors god he did not give in and he ran no he and then he was misjudged pharaoh listened to his wife and he was put in the dungeon then in the dungeon you know it's unlike others in in the Egypt, um, their dungeon or jail is like you are in a cubicle that is four feet. They cannot even stand. They have to, they're just like in a box and their food is just to conte lang, not just to survive, not like they will be full. Um, if you were Joseph, you may question, Lord, why, why, and complain? I honor you. I did not sin, but why? No, you know, from the time he got, he was sold. Maybe he was around seventeen years old, seven years as a servant, then two year. Uh, how many years in the prison? But you know, God gave him test. Parin, even he was in the dungeon, uh, there were two who had a dream, the butler and the baker, remember? Joseph can feel discouraged and he can say, na, you know, God doesn't answer our dream eh, like that. But you know, Joseph was faithful when they shared their dreams to him. You know, this will happen. After three days, you will go back to your position and the other one after three days you will be hung or you will die you know joseph still believed that when god gave that dream it will happen he will not say now you know don't believe that uh, i also dreamed before but it didn't happen look where i am now i'm in the dungeon i'm sold as a slave but no he is faithful 
Then after he interpret that dream two more years because the bat the butler forgot that what he promised to Joseph that he will inform Pharaoh that he did not commit mistake while he was there. So, you know, in our journey as a Christian, sometimes we go through wilderness, challenges, problem. Like for parents, no? sometimes we go through um, trials also as we train up our children. Lord, why our kids is still not obedient? Why our kids is still not okay? Why our kids is not yet loving the Lord? Sometimes we, we don't yet see, but we will continue to hold on to pray. If, if children, maybe some of you, young people, why my parents cannot understand me? I prayed, I prayed many times. Why my father treat me like this, my mom? So hold on. No, just like Joseph, he remained faithful. He continued to do what is right. And what happened to him? In the, in the right time, God molded his character and everything. And until today, he is remembered to be the next pow as powerful. Because before Egypt was the most powerful country. And he was next to Pharaoh. Usually the next in line is the one that really is who oversee, operates, making some decisions. No? Kasi Pharaoh is parang relax, relax lang. Usually it's like that. But thankfully, uh, Joseph did not give up get discouraged just like jesus now when he was really having some fasting for 40 days the enemy will really strike in the point when you are weakest when jesus was so hungry and, and then mokui ah the evil will talk to him turn this stone as bread you can do that oh parang he is tempting jesus but god blessing upon blessing that jesus know how to use god's word to to uh to respond to the enemy's lies no if you have some thoughts negative thoughts that makes you discouraged to think that god is not answering your prayer or god isn't like fair or whatever lies is that you use god's word sometimes i also feel like i will be anxious no i will be worried but god's word reminds me now his promises if there are prayers that are not yet answered i will hold on to god that lord you answers prayer that are prayed according to your will no if you believe have faith god surely is pleased do you want to please god do you want to honor god marvin do you want to honor god lauren has said if you do have faith believe in the lord jesus christ Believe that he can help you solve your problem. Believe that he will help you in your struggle about your um, inclination to sin. Now, Lord, I'm weak. Eh? I feel like this. I know this is not right, but I want to, to do this. Have faith. Believe that God will help you overcome. Be victorious in your in your. Uh, overcoming your negative thoughts overcoming your feelings that are not healthy or not uh, like maybe you like to revenge or you like to hate you like to fight back or you like to get angry god will help you overcome those emotions with his help with wisdom with his help 
okay? Faith is very important. So first and foremost, put your faith and trust in God. And He will enable you to overcome your doubts. Even you are still doubting, searching, ask God to help you, lead you to the truth. Just as Aunt Chansi Kati, before I was also confused. What is the right religion? Buddhism, Confucianism, Taoism, Roman Catholicism, whatever. But God led me to the truth. A friend of mine, when there was typhoon in Cebu that time called um, Ruping, when I was maybe around 13 years old, and it was during my birthday. Imagine having a birthday for a month, no electricity, and we don't have our food in the ref is about to be spoiled. Kasi walang electricity. And it's your birthday, walang TV, walang internet. Actually, before, wala naman talaga internet. Eh. No? But, you know, he he dropped she dropped by to my home and gave me a bible and that's the time i really seriously prayed also lord lead me to the truth and then i keep reading the bible then i understood that it's relationship that's why very important no now sometimes in our life we need fasting internet wi-fi fasting but you can search your Self, you can meditate, you can reflect. Because that time when I was also like bombarded with so many things, TV here, joy here, wanting to do so many activity, you cannot do soul searching. You cannot like reflect what is essential in life. So I know it's not easy to let go of having internet, but if there's a point you need to decide na. Uh, from this hour to this hour, five hours, no internet. Just making connection with your family or reading Bible or prayer or eating together, helping my your parents in household church. That would be ideal. Or you will commit, Lord, three days. I will not use my cell phone or iPad or computer or oh, weekends i give my sunday to you lord i only use it during our kids church or our like i don't know maybe it's also important in our life to do some fasting just as it does good to our body when we do fast like you fast you will not eat meat because uh, parang you just sacrifice something because you want to ask god to uh, meet you somewhere now you want to just have an encounter with him closer encounter with him and that's a good that's a good discipline no to fast like i will not drink juice i just drink water because my my inclination but then you'd sacrifice something because you want to just dedicate something for the lord no so i hope i uh, i don't know i talk a lot already in that area but let's go back to our topic huh the implication are obvious knowing that these things are happening and will happen should steer our heart to action knowing that jesus is coming soon and we are in the last days please read this five what should we do has said please read one to five please unmute has said, are you still there? Oh, has said, I I'm think here. There, we need to see the urgency. Urgency of sharing the gospel. There will be opinion to opposition. Christ, opposition to Christly and Christianity. Christianity and the gospel work. There will be. Trumble times terrible times terrible times coming and have come this present world is history as well we call it will come to an end jesus is coming back again soon 
Yes, from the passage we read, these are the implications. So since Jesus is in the we are in the last days we need to see the urgency to share the gospel people right now could be we don't even invite our friends no because we're so busy watching youtube or playing games uh let's um thank you kenji for being here i miss you also several sundays so let's really put priority in sharing the gospel that inviting people and always remember as i said in this world right now we go through some opposition there will be people letting you why sige ka believe jesus or why sige ka love god or christianity they will question your faith so there will be terrible times let's just hold on because the the bible also tells us that in the last in this world we will have trap Population. but jesus comes to give us peace um i i come to give you peace that passes all understanding so the peace that world cannot give this world will just give us temporary happiness temporary just temporary it's not the peace that god gives enjoy i hope if only i can just pass on to you the joy of salvation that i've experienced the peace of god the joy in the midst of uncertainty the the joy in the midst of a lot of trials the peace that will keep us hold on even though we have many difficulties and trials i hope you can experience that my dear young people i know you can just ask from the lord lord help me experience what chancy kati experienced the peace the joy even we have many difficulties and trials because truly we don't know no in our family we are bombarded with so many worries also and problem in school you have so many homeworks assignment left and right you cannot understand your math you can you're having hard time with your teacher oh may god help you experience with us wisdom from him and help and in your tribulation in your wilderness experience like what joseph experienced like what jesus experienced let's not give up no even in the point when jesus was praying in gethsemane of course no he who wants to be crucified he knows what he will be facing the devil tempt him no na wag na wag na but you know jesus prayer lord if you can pass this cup from me sana hindi na ako makrucify but not my will lord but your will we can pray lord give me easy life give me a uh, life that have no problem but lord your will be done in my life if it's your will for me to have a child that needs a lot of my patient a, a child that needs a lot of my understanding or a parent that needs a lot of your um understanding also kasi i'm talking to you as children eh, no you're not yet parent but chancy cat is experience right now we have how do you call that generation gap but may god help us no young people you to understand parents point of view and shansi katip as parent we will understand young people's point of view so yes i hope we can um like what no because if your relationship is in the point of like uh you will having clash or misunderstanding or conflict 
Let us not give up on our family. Never, never give up. If you are in, I don't know your situation right now. Maybe you're in the point like you want to give up. Because it's just too much. You want to cry, just cry it. But don't give up on your faith. I hope don't give up on God. Don't deny God just because you are suffering or you are being discouraged by I don't know who this who could be your model and then you see it as a model and then you got discouraged because maybe there are character flaws, attitude or how you were treated. In Jesus' name, please don't give up on God. Huh? Amen. Can you say amen? Can you type in the chat box, amen, if you can relate amen. to what Shansi is saying? Yes, amen. thank you. I know um, Shansi may be passionate, but I hope you will see the urgency na to not give up because there will be terrible times in the last days father against children children against their parents ch children becoming disobedient this is the sign of the last days that god is coming soon so please don't give up don't give up on god and your family okay say okay say amen and next let's continue so john was clear he called the Sessionist, sessionist, those who broke away from the church, Antichrist, for this is who they really were. Their presence merely confirmed the reality of the last hour. They were already present in their midst. We need to be watchful, whether inside or outside the church. That's why very important to read the Bible. Because it could be there is false teachers in the church or in your school so you need to know the truth especially when you go to college wala na your even teacher is sometimes not teaching you biblical principles so you should know the truth and that you should stand for it stand strong to what the bible's saying Kasi in the world, no, when you go to college, everything is very subjective. I feel this way. I like to do this. This is how I, who I am. So parang there's no absolute truth anymore. Everything's become subjective. I, this is who I am. This is how I am. Then. This is how should I act. This is how I should feel. Parang wala nang objectivity, like absolute. God created you like this. So you should be man and women. But sometimes the world different na worldview. So let us pray to God. Let us ask God to help us with our struggles, with our feelings. So may God help us talaga. Not only in our identity, in our self-esteem, in how we look ourselves, the world ways of looking things as beautiful is different. You are beautiful if you don't have pimples, you have clear skin, you're skinny. You know, what does the Bible say? The Bible says your beautiful comes from inside. Your character, your like that it's yes you should be fair skin so to look beautiful so lahat ng dark is not beautiful no whatever color god fearfully and wonderfully made you so may the may god help you to have biblical worldview not what the world is showing you as beautiful and how you you will feel um, your self 
self-identity should be based on what the Bible says, not the what the world says. Okay, so going back. So be careful of the teaching, the false teachers. Okay, um, uh, who are the uh, who are these antichrists? Can you please read Chebar? I said, who are these antichrists? The term antichrist is unique to John. It appears five times, four times in First John, one in plural and. And in Second John, it is synonymous to false teachers and prophets. It is important to realize that there have been many antichrists before and now, and they oppose the work of God in Christ. Yes. So very clear. Those who deny Jesus as Lord are what? Considered antichrist. Okay they oppose the work of god um marvin can you please read so this antichrist they they, they need the apostolic they, they need the apostolic they deny the faith they, they need to deny they deny deny jesus is the christ they lead people astray. So very clear, huh? Those antichrists have these three qualities. If you know that they deny the apostolic faith, they deny Jesus, and they lead people astray. They will teach different worldview to other people. So please be careful. Yeah. So... In denying the apostle, uh, apostolic faith, please read Hagios. They did not recognize the authority of the church, which belongs to the teachings of Christ and the communion of saints. And it says, it says, says it, mm. verse 19 says it clearly. They went out from us, but they did not really belong to us. For if they had belonged to us, they would have remained with us, but their going showed that none of them belonged to us. Yes. Uh, by the way, now just remind there were five minutes away from six o'clock. Okay. So uh very clear not no that they denied the apostolic faith. That's why they were excommunicated or chased away from the church. So John, this is a divine appointment that they are not in the church anymore because they preach an orthodox doctrine, false teaching. Next, they deny Jesus is the Christ. Please read. Um, who else haven't read? Kasi Lauren has, ano, has said, please read this. The denial of Jesus' person and work makes them a liar. Of Jesus' person and work makes them liar. John 844. John says you belong to your father, the deliverer, and David. you want David to carry out of your father's desires. He was from the beginning not holding the truth, for there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language. Native language, for he is a liar and the father of lies. Okay, so, so very clear, no? Deny Jesus in the Christ. Is the Christ. So those who deny Jesus is the Christ belongs to the father, the father of lies, the devils. I am still wearing the same earphone. I'm finding a different earphone. Yes. Yes, Lauren. Next time, huh, if you have audio, I can ask you to read. Continue. So anyone that denies the son, Jesus Christ denies the father. Who acknowledges the son, acknowledge the father. So we need to grasp this simplicity, the importance and crucial central truth. Belief in God is not some vague reference. Anybody can claim that he or she believes in God. But who, which God does he believe? Many people say, 
I believe in God the man. But who? Who is your God? So that's very important, no? That you believe in Jesus Christ. Marvin, very clear, huh? So the fact that we can never know God on our own. We are finite and he is infinite. So the only time we can know him is when he reveal himself to us. So may God help us to, to he reveal himself to us and that we can get to have connection with him. Jesus is the uh, exact representation of the Godhead. He is the promised one and he is the only way to the father. Remember the verse. I will end with that, that John 14, 6, he is the only way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through Jesus Christ. Therefore, who reject Jesus Christ, the Son, and all he stand is to reject the Father as well, because he was sent by the Father and is from the Father. Is it clear, Hagios, Chebar, um, then Donnelly, since Jesus is the way to God, he is God incarnate. To reject him, his person and work is to reject the message of salvation that God is offering altogether. So moreover, if Jesus is not the Christ, then he is not able to save us. So we are still dead in our sin and we will suffer eternal judgment in hell. So very important, the centrality of Jesus in our faith. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ because he is the way to the Father. Okay? Not unlike what Kiboloy is saying that he is the son. No, he's, he is not the son. Jesus Christ, though, is the father. It's really wrong, unorthodox, wrong teaching. So may God help us to know the Bible, read the Bible, so we will not be led astray. The third one, please read, uh, Chebar. They lead people astray. We need, we need to stand up for what? What we believe in remains steadfast in the midst of false and heretical teachings, both old and new. This, <clears throat> these teachings can severely affect our faith and are very harmful to God's salvation plan for a person. Mm. Okay, stand up for something you believe. People die for the truth. So, so let uh, may God. Uh, help us to be strong and not easily led astray. We are always bombarded by Satan's manifest schemes. So he wants us to win us over to the other side. We are at war and the battle most often are won and lost in the battlefield of our mind. So it is no different in the time of John. It is no different now. So they experienced that even how many years ago when first john was written so let's guard our mind renew our mind through the word of god okay again reminder hide god's word in your heart so that you will not sin against god i think i will um so let us hold on to Christ's teaching. Let us be thankful for the revelation that we have received from the Holy One. Through this revelation, we have come to know the truth and let us be wary of new teaching that deny the humanity and divinity of Christ Jesus. So please remember, Jesus is perfect human and God. He is the Son of God. We believe in triune God. God the Son, God the Father, God the Holy Spirit. One God in three persons. This is very important. Acid test to know is what we believe in the church or the organization we join is a cult or not, or a false teaching or not. Okay, so that's end my sharing. Remember this verse, John 14, 6. Everyone, unmute yourself and read. Jesus said unto him. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Amen. So how can you go to the Father? It's through Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ is the bridge that connects us to Hello? the Father. Yes. 
Okay, so let's end with this uh, with prayer. Lord, thank you so much for today. Bless us, O oh Lord, as we learn about the danger or of those who deny Jesus as their Lord and Savior. So help us, Lord, not to deny you and reject you as God, Lord of our life. If any one of us is still doubting, Please pray with me this prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, forgive me of my doubts. Help me that through my search, Lord, I will find you and that I can know the truth and the truth will set me free. Right now, for those who are ready to accept Jesus, believe Lord, today I put my trust and my faith in you. I accept you, Lord, as my Lord and Savior. Help me, God, to know you more deeper in my life, to experience you intimately and having an abundant life in Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of eternal life when you come again. I know where am I going. I'm going heaven bound. This world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. My treasures are uh, my mom is singing. somewhere uh, beyond the mom is singing some song. What song did she sing? Me from what is she singing? Is open door and I can feel at home in this world anymore this world is not our real home we're just a passing through our treasure are laid up somewhere beyond the blue so may this song um minister to us that we offer our life to god so may you sing this song this is May this be your prayer, huh? That you offer your life to God. This be you can unmute yourself. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever you have, you offer to Him. Everybody see. Lord, I offer my life to you. Everything I've been through. Use it for your glory and Lord I offer my days to you lifting my praise to you as a this pleasing sacrifice worship God Not just quiet Lord I offer you my life everybody sing along Let's sing it Use it for your glory.
you everyone for joining today's today's kids church youth fellowship let's continue to invite other people okay thank you for watching us live or replay god bless everyone